Well, every day here on the show, we look into your questions at home about claims that you see online or things that you may have seen in your community. Now, this morning's question comes to us from Lori, and she wants to know, is it illegal for shopping carts to be taken off store lots? I see people pushing them all over town, but does anything ever happen to them? And is this costing the stores money, which makes the customers in the long run have higher prices? Well, Lori, thanks for writing. Here's what I found in this morning's Verify Fast Facts. You probably use one every time you hit the grocery store for your weekly shopping trip. Those age-old carts that you can fill with everything you need before bagging it all up and heading home. But shopping carts are also popular among the homeless population, a way to transport whatever items they own. So that brings us to our viewer question this week. Is it illegal for carts to be taken off store lots and is it costing the store money, which in turn drives up prices? Well, let's start with our sources on this one. Firstly, we're hearing from the Temple Police Department. We're also looking at numbers from the Food Marketing Institute. Um, it is a Class B misdemeanor, depending on the price of the shopping cart. So if you were to get one of the fancy shopping carts, it might be a little bit more expensive and escalate in offense. Okay, so we know it's a crime, but what about enforcement? A company would have to actually come and file a report if they want their shopping carts back. Um, there are enough of them floating around that we don't just go and seek out the shopping carts without the company coming and telling us that they do want them back. And that's pretty common across the country. Police departments rarely, if ever, crack down on stolen carts as a general rule. But new technology is making it harder for them to get taken off the lot. Some carts come equipped with security features that lock up the wheels if it goes outside a certain perimeter. But is shopping cart crime coming at a cost to consumers? Well, we do know lost carts do cost stores money, and it is something they have to take into consideration. However, there is no information that indicates that it's causing any rise in prices for the items you buy every single day. And so it's not also common, and actually it rarely ever happens, if ever, if the, the police officer would see someone with a shopping cart that appears to be stolen and they would get out of their vehicle and arrest them. That is not very common. Well, thank you, Lori, for your question this morning. If you have anything at home that you want me to verify, go ahead and send me an email or reach out to me on Facebook. Both of those addresses on your screen this morning. Well, speaking of theft, listen to this.